this flying car actually existed, so why did it totally flop? In 1949, the Aero car, designed by Moulton Taylor, was a marvel. It could drive on highways like a regular car, and then transform to take off like a real plane. It was even FAA certified and fully functional. But physics said no. Cars need to be heavy for safety, while planes need to be light for flight. The Aero car's small, road legal wings just couldn't create enough lift for its substantial weight. Engines back then, like the 150 horsepower Lycoming O320, didn't have the power to weight ratio needed to keep this hybrid safely in the air. Its service ceiling was only 12,000 feet. And certification? A nightmare. It had to pass both stringent car safety standards and complex aircraft airworthiness inspections, two completely different rule books, costing millions of dollars. Plus, it was expensive. Priced at around $30,000 in the 1960s, equivalent to over $300,000 today, manufacturers didn't think enough people would buy such a niche car plane combo. Flying cars weren't impossible, they were just impractical for their time. Want to know more? Subscribe and watch the full video on the SciCurious YouTube channel. Would you fly one?